What's up Legends, LGG Alden here, so I'm back with another tutorial in Game Maker. So I know it's been a couple weeks since the last one, I've been a little busy, but I'm glad I can get another one out to you guys. So I believe this is the fifth one now, and we're going to be doing player projectiles. So the player shooting and something, basically that. So what we'll be doing, it shouldn't be too advanced. Eventually we could do a more advanced version of projectiles and all that, but for now it'll just be a kind of simple one. So what we're going to do is create a sprite. So SPR underscore, we'll name it bullet. Edit sprite, new, and then I believe just for a good size we'll make it 4x4, four four, so about like an eighth of the player size. We'll just make it a black pixel pretty much is what it'll shoot. We'll center it too. So it's going to shoot a little black pixel. So now we need to obviously create the object, obj underscore bullet, and then set the sprite. Um, that should all be good. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the player now, and we're going to kind of basically set it so it can shoot. So well, actually, a better way to do this is we'll just do mouse. So if it's left pressed, we'll have it where it does instance create so to create an object x y and then we'll do obj underscore bullet so it's gonna shoot the bullet whenever the left button except actually I might change this so it's not constant we will do left pressed so only when you press it so you can't like rapidly shoot it but it's only basically it'll be from like you just rapidly click if you want a rapid shoot so it's not like overdoing the game too much so then okay so we have that so let's make sure let's test this quickly make sure it's it runs good and that it shoots it whenever you click go into play yeah okay so it it creates it it's a little weird because I believe you have to like you click the player yeah that okay we'll have to change that first Okay, so yeah, one thing that you we're going to have to change is we'll change this event only because it's only when the player is clicked, so we want to make that different. We'll do global mouse, left pressed. So now it should work wherever. I didn't think about that at first. Let's try it. Yeah, okay. So now it's obviously drawing the dots all over, but they don't move yet, which is kind of what we need. So the thing is, so now we're going to create, go into the bullet and we're going to need a create event so in the create event you're going to want to set a speed so this you'll actually use the actual speed variable and we'll set it to I forget let's see what did we set the player speed to SPD okay so it's we'll do obj underscore player dot SPD so it's calling to the speed event from the player which so then we'll take it and then we'll add two so basically it means that the bullet will shoot two speed higher than the actual player just so that you don't like you not faster than the bullets it kind of makes it a little better and then okay so we'll try that now the only now just to test it let's see what it does make sure it works good so yeah so now we can shoot it but the thing is it only goes in one direction which is not what we want we want it to shoot anyway so to set up direction what we're gonna do for the player is so you have your WASD already but we're going to go into the where is it where are we gonna okay step event we'll do it in the step event so we wanna set a direction so like the player obviously it only faces one direction so it can only shoot that way we wanna change that so we wanna do image angle so it's the sprites image and we're gonna change the angle equals to and we'll do point and then direction so we're gonna need X Y so the players X and Y but then we're gonna want it to face the mouse oh, mouse X and mouse Y so as you can see so then it'll basically wherever the mouse is on the screen that's where your player will face towards close that now we have the player angle so now we need to make it so the bullet is equal to that angle so we want to do we'll do um, I believe this should work direction equals to image or wait whoops obj player dot image angle 
Okay, so now it should face towards it. Now this should work fine. Let's hope that it works. See how it does. Click play. Okay, so now, now as you can see, anytime we click, so the faster I click, the more rapid it shoots. Any way that the player's eyes are facing, that's where it's going to shoot. So, which, that's exactly kind of what we wanted, which is good. So, now we have projectiles. But as you can see, they kind of fly, they can fly through walls, they can fly out of the map. And one thing that really is important to do sometimes with stuff like this, if you don't do this, it could practically cause lag eventually or something bad to happen, glitches, because the bullets could technically keep going for as long as they want even once they leave the room. So we want to do an other event outside of the room and we're going to do instance oh, destroy. So what that's going to do is basically if the bullet goes outside of the room it'll destroy it. So you don't have bullets just flying far out of the game and causing lag maybe. So Another way is we want it to do, if it collides with the wall, you want it to do the exact same thing. So, instance, destroy. Okay, so now let's test that, make sure. So, you won't see the bullets outside of the room, just know that they're gone. And now, as you can tell, if they hit walls, they disappear, which is pretty much exactly what we wanted. So... Yeah, so that's kind of the gist of making a projectile. And obviously, you're going to want it so that it can hit them. So one last thing we'll add to this is we'll make so the enemies, when it hits the enemies, it disappears. So what we're going to do is collision with enemy. And then we'll have instance destroy. Okay. So now when it hits the enemies, it'll also destroy it. And yeah, so I think that's probably where the tutorial will end off is just with exactly what we have for now, which is pretty good if you ask me. And eventually, maybe in the next one, something like that, we'll add the ability so that when it hits them, like we'll set up maybe enemy variables. So if it hits an enemy or something, their health will go down and all that and then maybe we can even set up uh, the ability for them to harm me so if they touch me if they get near me or we could make them shoot anything like that there's a lot of possibilities so if you guys have any sort of ideas for what you want specifically in this make sure to comment them and hopefully I can do those in future tutorials and we can work on something like that for this but uh, yeah so if you guys like this remember give it a like if you guys want more of these comment it tell us tell me that you like it and i hope you guys do so i don't know that should be it though like i said all works pretty well pretty simple system to make it work and yeah just make the little guy turns directions shoots yeah so thanks guys if you have any errors any issues that come up while trying to do this make sure to comment it and post it down there i'll make sure to check it and i can try my best to help you fix that so it works just as well as mine does. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.